Hello and welcome to AJ Storytime channel for kids. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the little bell so you receive the notifications of when I'm reading live. I have some great news for you guys. Well, it might be sad news, but also are great news for me. The sad news is that I won't be able to do story times at 11 a.m. anymore because guess what, guys? I had a full-time job. I was working part-time and now I was hired for a full-time job. I'm so happy and blessed. Thank God for that. So I will be having my story times only at 8. Actually, yeah, 9.30. I think I will just leave it for 9.30 so you guys can see it before you go to sleep. 9 30 p.m and if i'm able to maybe do a videos on my days off in the daytime i will do it but for now all my story times will be only at 9 30 p.m that way i make sure that you guys see my videos and please if you're new to my channel do not forget to subscribe and support happy memorial day to all of you i have some amazing books that i will be reading because if you don't know what memorial day is guess what you need to know because pretty soon we are going to celebrate Memorial Day and also Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> so let's read our first book. Weekly Reader Early Learning Library, Our Country's Holiday, Memorial Day. On Memorial Day, we think about people who die for our country. These people fought online on the seas and in the air. They all wore different uniforms. They all tried to keep our country safe. Memorial Day is always on the last Monday in May. Many flowers bloom in May and we often use flowers to honor people who die for our country. On Memorial Day, we put flowers on rivers, lakes, and seas. The flowers honor sailors who die at sea. We also put flowers and flags on graves. People fly flags halfway down the flagpole to honor people who have died. Putting the flag like this is called half mass. Many people watch parades, soldier sailors, and other groups march in parades. On Memorial Day, we think about family and friends who die for our country. On Memorial Day, we take a minute to be silent. We often pray for world peace. What will you do this Memorial Day? If you did love a family member fighting for our country, make sure that you do something special for them. Maybe you can create a little garden, right? In which you can talk to them and tell them how much you love them and make them feel great. So I hope that you had a great Memorial Day this year. I have one book that I will read. It's called, What Do You Do With An Idea? And this is by Kobe Yamada. What will you do? A lot of us have many ideas, right? One day, I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wonder, what do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seems kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. But it followed me. Look at the idea following him right there. I worry what others will think. What will people say about my idea? I kept it to myself, I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before, but my idea showed up. 
but there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when he was around. He wanted food. He wanted to play. Actually, he wanted a lot of attention. This is the idea right here. He grew bigger and he became, and we became friends. I show it to all the people even though I was afraid of what they will say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They say it was not good. They say it was too weird. They say it was a waste of time and that it will never become anything. Oh. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows, no one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food, I worked with it, I played with it, but most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew and grew and so did my love for it. I built a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. I like being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because it says it's good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea, you change the world. The end. Wow, such an amazing and powerful book. What do you do with an idea? This is how I started my YouTube channel first. I started doing videos about how to save money and coupons. And then I was like, I'm pretty good with kids. So let me start reading books because I love to read. And that started like an idea. And now I have almost 5,000 subscribers, including you. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Because that's how my channel started, with a very small idea. I hope that you enjoyed the story time for today. We read about Memorial Day and also what do you do with an idea? Please subscribe. Goodbye.